Hi, I'm Ellen Sweeney, and welcome to this week's edition of Tips for iOS. In this week's video, I'll walk you through some simple solutions if you find yourself with an app that has suddenly stopped responding on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the Yahoo Weather app as the unresponsive app. The first thing you'll want to do to correct this problem is to restart the app. To do this, you'll want to double tap on your home screen, find the unresponsive app, and swipe it up and away. After doing this, return to the home screen and reopen the app to see if the problem has been solved. If restarting the app didn't solve your problem, you'll want to move on to solution number two. In solution number two, you'll need to restart your device. And to do this, you need to hold the power button and your home button down at the same time for approximately 10 seconds or more until the Apple logo appears. Once the Apple logo appears, you can release the buttons and the iPhone will restart completely. Again, you'll want to go back and restart the app to see if your problem has been solved. And if it hasn't, you'll move on to solution number three. In solution number three, we're going to check to see if our iOS software is completely up to date and if the app itself is up to date. To do that, you're going to tap on your settings, you're going to go to general, and you're going to tap on software update to see if your iOS software is at the most recent update. If your iOS software is at the newest version, the next thing we want to check is to make sure that the app has the latest update. And to do that, you're going to tap on the App Store, and at the bottom you're going to tap on Updates. And if the app has an update, you're going to go ahead and update it. And if it doesn't, we're going to move on to solution number four. In solution number four, we need to reinstall the app. And to do this, you have to delete the app first. So you're going to tap and hold on the app until it starts to shake and an X appears in the top left hand corner. Go ahead and tap on the X and it's going to ask if you want to delete this app. Go ahead and tap on delete and the app is gone. To reinstall the app, you'll do so from the App Store. So go ahead and tap on the App Store. Tap on Updates at the bottom, and at the very top, tap on where it says Purchased. Go ahead and tap on Not on this iPhone, and since we just recently deleted this app, it should appear at the very top. Tap on the icon that looks like a cloud with a down arrow, and your app should start to reinstall. If you've completed all of the solutions and your app is still unresponsive, you'll head to solution number five. And this is a last ditch resort before you're gonna to head to the Apple Store. You're gonna restore your device back to factory settings as if it was brand new. There'll be nothing on it, all of your data will be gone, and you'll be starting as if it was a brand new iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. This step certainly isn't for the faint of heart, but if you've backed up your device to iCloud, all of your data should be stored in the cloud and you should be able to restore it without any problem. So to continue with this solution, you'll tap on settings, you'll tap on general, you'll scroll all the way to the bottom where it says reset, tap on reset and tap on erase all contents and settings. And when you do this, you'll be asked for your passcode. You'll go ahead and put it in. And you're going to also then get another message that says, you know, basically, are you sure you want to delete? If you do, you'll go ahead and you'll touch erase iPhone and all of your data will be wiped from your phone, iPad or iPod touch. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have, I'd love for you to share it on your Facebook page, Twitter account, or your Pinterest account. I'll see you next week on Tips for iOS.